Greetings and welcome back to Chaos and Demon Hunters. We are looking at the Colexus Assassin today. Probably one of the most feared and enigmatic, well, assets the Imperium has on, well, on offer. No, at its command, that's it. And that's because every single one of, well, every single person, the, well, designated to be trained as a Colexus Assassin is born literally without a soul, which means that the powers of the warp have no effect on them, and just being near them p feel, well, fills people with dread, and psychers literally uh, get head splitting headaches just being near them. So they are the anti, well, the final word in anti psyker well, defenses, barring the Sisters of Silence from the Custodies. But anyway, in Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, how good is she as a unit? Well, the answer is, surprisingly, she can be extremely powerful, but you really know, need to well, be able to play her well. So let's take a look at her abilities and explain how she works, shall we? At rank 1, you will only have these, so let's go over them. Force Matrix. As you can see here, she uses willpower, but starts with zero willpower, and she gains one every time one of your knights uses one or more. So even if a knight uses three willpower in a, using an ability, she will only gain one. You do gain more ways to gather up willpower, so we'll talk about those. Then we have Life Draining Touch. This is her melee ability. And as you can see here, whatever she hits will be dealt 4 damage. I, actually, I think it's lower than that. Uh, let's see, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's plus 1 damage. Plus 2 damage, so it starts off at 3 damage. But it stands into target for 1 second. That means they cannot use most abilities. This is especially useful against sorcerers. And against people that want to use ranged attacks and abilities and busts and stuff like that. Now, if the target is killed, she gains plus two willpower. I believe that she, she starts with only two willpower and gains one per level. So this can very quickly gain the amount of willpower she needs to use her abilities. Now, as you can see here, no crit. This means she is unable to execute well anybody. So even if you roll up and... Somebody on the ground and need waiting to be executed. She cannot execute him unless she actually deals the damage by herself. So she is not an executioner. She is, she is an, 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 an enabler. That's the word we're looking for. Then nullify. Target blast over area 4 at range 10. That They cannot benefit from boons. Now, it is important to note that the boons are not uh, mutations. Boons are the things that they gain during the battle. Not the things that they start the battle with. So things like the swollen fresh that the sorcerers cast, uh, the extra armor they can gain from some of the other abilities on the plague marines. Those are boons. Now this oh, this will also nullify any boons they currently have on. It doesn't say so, but that is what it means. It cannot benefit. So even if they have like every single boon in the game on them, using this on them will remove it, which can be extremely useful in the right circumstances. I don't use it that much because I use some other stuff along the way. And Pariah, unaffected by psychic abilities. As we said, they have no soul, which means the warp has no sway over them, so yeah. Then once you go up to level two, things start getting a little bit more interesting because we can start closing rifts. Now, the problem with this ability is one, you need to be close enough to the rift to be able to get to it and use this ability, which can be very RNG related because you're in the battle, and it could be on the other side of the map, it could be behind you, it could be right next to you, you never know. The other is that, as you can see, it costs 3 max willpower. Now, having a lot of willpower is extremely useful, because one, she uses it for her abilities, but two, as you can see, Ethereum, at the end of each turn, this unit gains armor equal to its current willpower. So, uh, at level 2, she would have 3 willpower, so if she has that much willpower left, she gains 3 armor. As you can see right now, she can go all the way up to 9 armor or more. I haven't even given her any special equipment yet, so she can go, I believe, all the way up to 13 or 14 willpower. Pretty powerful stuff. Then, we can finally, at level 3, warp charge our life draining touch to make it a blast area from the target. This is where we start to combo with the... Uh, well, well, with this... I know, with the ability of life draining touch to grant 2 willpower whenever we kill something. And that's because when we use this and we go into a big group of pox walkers or plague marines, we use this once or twice, we kill three or more targets and we get two willpower for everything we kill. So even though this costs us one willpower, we are gaining like five or six at least back. So very useful. 
And although dude, this does mean you need to charge into the enemy, her, as we just obviously, Ethereum at high levels means you have a good amount of armor to survive. And there shouldn't be really be anything left to hit you when, once you use this. And finally, Psychic Dampening. 25% chance once per turn. When it kills an enemy, it has a 25% chance to reduce warp surge by 40%. Now, I, this starts at 25%, but as you go up in levels, you gain an additional 15 on top of that, so it becomes 40%. It's only 25% chance, but considering you can kill a lot of stuff with this AoE attack, pretty high chance to proc this. Unfortunately, you need to have a lot of cannon fodder to be able to do it, or use this um, reliably. Lastly, Soulless Horror. This I have not used that often. Basically, whatever you target at range 10, it says 12 because I gain an extra range, a couple extra ranges on it as you level up. It gets panicked, which is 100% for one turn. So this means that whatever you target with this ability will spend all of its actions running away from any of your units. Super useful if you don't want them in the battle or if you just want to get them out of the side or have them move or just not shoot you. Then upgrade life grenade touch plus one damage. And then purge now also nullifies. Now, I believe nullify now also does remove mutations i believe this part here if you warp charge this ability now will uh, remove mutations but it's plus two willpower for a total of three so very expensive to use then this charge 50 percent force return when she uses willpower she has a chance to gain one action point so if you're spending willpower to aoe nuke a lot of stuff there's a high chance you get an extra ap ap well ap here's the extra 15 i mentioned earlier so this sword against our sword starts at 8 range. So this starts at 8 range and then goes up to 12. And then plus 1 damage on soul life draining touch. Nullify against plus 1 area. And we don't use it that often. And let's hit level 9. Plus 1 use for every of the every single one of her autos. So that means she can gain 1 AP up to twice per turn when she uses willpower. And she can reduce um, the warp charge by up to 40% up to 2 times per turn really good stuff and the abilities silence last plus one turn so eh, i don't think it, silence have ever been that useful to me because most i only use it when things are about to die so kind of useless and that is the collections very very specialized but we're not done yet because as you can see here this is the equipment she comes default with and as, as we can see warp this is basically our ranged uh, attack essentially Activate to add damage equal to current willpower to this ranged attack for two plus two willpower. Very cool. Now I think this might I'm not sure if this is calculated before or after this expenditure. But as you can see, nine over here, and this does five damage base, uh, four damage base, so that is 13 damage possible at maximum willpower. That is a lot of damage. I don't think we have anything else in the game that can deal with this much damage, but what you really want is one of these three. So as you can see here, this one here deals five damage base and adds stun equal to willpower instead of damage for plus two willpower. Can you imagine stunning a hell brute with one attack? Yeah, that's what this thing is capable of doing. Basically setting you up for multiple executions in one turn, getting you multiple actions with your other knights, really stacking up the tactical value. Then let's see... Afflict and mobilize, chance to mobilize, and plus one stun. Ooh, oof, oof, oof. So if we go up to 10 willpower at level 9, that's 15. 16 possible stun? No. No, it was, uh, no damage to 10 equals stun. It's only willpower, so 9, 10, 11 stun on this thing. This one over here is similar to the one you start with, which is plus, 10, plus damage equal to willpower. But here, when shot by an enemy unit, 100% chance to shoot back automatically infinite number of times per turn and plus two damage if you upgrade it so really good so if you're if she's near the front line and she gets shot this is definitely something you consider using or this one inflicts burning two damage per turn for two turns so these are your top choices this one starts at six damage but it only adds uh oh no hold on here we go it adds that one adds damage this one adds uh, stun the problem with these is, as you can see, these cost requisitions to acquire. 
and getting all the way to rank three equipment i believe it cost me like something like 14 total requisitions it was insane the amount of requisitions it was costing us to actually get that stuff but really powerful then the bodysuit as you can see can be targeted by autos really really useful and it has mobility this is just a standard mobility she so can climb up ledges that's really about it but let's take a look at her advanced suits plus two willpower very useful 20 percent focus that excellent that increases the chance to activate stuff and yeah that's pretty much it you can unlock two extra willpower so 14 willpower for a possible total of 19 damage with warp charge on her ranged weapon really powerful stuff extra focus increases chance to trigger her things and here we get let's see if an enemy if it has 50 percent chance to strike automatically kind of okay use plus two damage so if, wow if you're rushing into you well into the melee this is definitely the one you want plus two max hp possible so plus one damage plus three damage total that would bump it up to eight damage Oof, that's quite a lot of damage there and lastly 30 percent resistance always useful and plus one movement speed and plus four hp not bad so out of all of these i think i would go with this one probably although extra willpower is always good hmm decisions decisions isn't it i guess it depends on the mission you're going on and while gear slot it's literally quite the same thing i haven't unlocked anything on this particular run yet oh, what's this medicaid service skull and extractor skull and grenades so yeah so that is the Caluxus Assassin a pretty nifty unit there? So, without further ado, as to way to end this video, let's go into an actual mission and user, shall we? That's yeah, just medium difficulty. See, so can destroy the bloom spawn. Uh, let's see. Nope, we like our Master Crafter weapons. Thank you very much. Minus three HP on our tank. That's not too bad. Let's see. Let's make sure on your weapons. Silencer. Six damage base, that's why he's wielding that's why he's wielding that one. Oh hello. Okay, 10% crit plus one crit damage. Oh yes, thank you. We are definitely grabbing that. As I have not been able to find the weapon I am really after, the one that ignores armor, but thanks to her, armor hasn't been that much of a problem lately. Now boars, range weapon, storm bolt, or it's the one we have. Uh, let's see, 5 damage base, 50% chance to afflict bleed. And I believe you only have, let's see, yes, plus 2 armor, plus 3 armor. But he is immune to weakened, which is pretty useful, so we'll leave him with that. And you, Harn. Armor types, plus 2 willpower, so that's an extra heal. And to a straight HP. Anyway, off we go. The minister on transmission of Curia and Kirby. Numerous inconsistencies. Deceptions and lies. The cathedral is infested. Most assuredly, our enemy is here. We must honor the Imperium's loyal servants and sanctify their remains once we put an end to their suffering. Okay, bloom spawns, two of them. One is all the way over there, and one is on the opposite corner. Of course it is. Oh, joy of joys. Luckily, there's no uh, time limit on this, so uh, let's do things properly here. All right, nothing there. So let's get everybody up. Quickly. Yeah, she's not particularly, um, what's the word? Swift? Agile? Ooh, nice. And bloom corruption is very low, so we are... Don't have to worry much about that. With me, my brothers. Now here, there is probably going to be somebody up here. Or inside this building here.
Oh, still nothing. There they are. Okay, so since we know what's coming. The pariah is ready. Let's trigger them. Really, you didn't trigger them? Oh, oh well. And turn. Oh, a feathered blue drone, is it? That's the first one I faced on, in one of these missions. Okay, let's see. What stats do you have? 14 HP, 4 armor, 75 resistance due to mutation, hmm, consume corpses, set a line of rare 2 at range 10 next turn. Uh huh, so it charges, immune to afflictions. Pass armor pierce. Okay, then. Okay, it flies, of course. Deal four damage to all targets. Superior knockback and armor pierce. Okay, then. Well, that's not good. And we know it's got armor pierce, so what do we do? Your orders? Yes, commander. Can you reach? You can. Excellent. I have seen your weakness. Uh, destabilize plus four damage. Causing an area two splash, dealing four to our targets. Uh, well, this looks a little silly. <laughs> Everything is all high risk, and then there's this thing right here. I think we'll disable the shredding blades. I think we might just flat out kill it. Yep, it's dead. Executed. Well, ooh, that is a melter gun. I do not like that. And that means he's also got a crack grenade. Okay, then. So, Iolanthus, you're going to need this. There's enough patrol. Good thing we didn't get too close. Collects. And she's got only one willpower at the moment. Tiger Blaster, we have three. This is two willpower. I don't think it's going to do anything of that sort. Where do we put you? She's gonna end the turn with two armor. Agreed. Actually, no, because then he'll toss the grenade and hit both of them. So a little further back, that should do it. And let's end the turn. He'll probably shoot Iolanthus or throw a crack grenade. Yep, there it is. Now that patrol is still up there, so we don't want to deal with that. What is your will? He still got two armor. As you command. Let's finish him off. The foe bleeds. Sanctified and purged. There we go. The handles that. She wasn't able to do much during this fight, but during the fight over here, this is usually where there's numerous things that she can actually do, so that will be her time to shine. Luckily, this mission is also only medium difficulty, because boy, those extreme missions. Oof. I actually saw a mission where you have to, you are sort of, well, attacked by 11 waves of reinforcements, and that basically is unwinnable. Put her there. 
We can go there. That way, if they move, we can knock the statue over. Unleash me. You as well. I Lanthus. What is your will? You go there. And you, our little assassin, you open the door. I see cultists. Ready yourselves. Yes, cultists. That's what we like to see. Unfortunately, this spread out quite a bit. Okay, first. Shoot this. Doesn't reach anybody. It does not. Okay, grenade it is then. Oh, we've got a nice congregation of people here. Okay, that's going to be for our assassin. First, let's get rid of you. Toss you over there. Excellent, excellent. That means everybody should be in range. We've got two willpower. Yes, look at this amazing. So we're going to get six willpower out of these, probably an extra AP, and then we can do it again and blow up this guy. And then go over here and start blowing up that guy. And we don't care what he tries to do, because these priests don't have uh, melee attacks, they only have psychic attacks, and she's completely immune to those. So, confirm. Ah, she, she didn't trigger, unfortunate. But, as we can see, for 9 willpower, we got it twice. Which is not the best, but not too bad. We can actually leave her there, and they can't do anything to her, so all we gotta do is eliminate that final cultist. Finish him off. Can you reach back there, Iolanthus? Hello, good sir. We're going to put you, we are going to put you right here. It will be done. And you, both of you guys can actually wait for these guys. Oh, interesting. Let's do this. And that'll be in turn. Five armor, and but they can't do anything to her, so we don't gotta worry about anything. I think they're calculating what they can do. She's completely immune, as we can see. Wee! There it goes. Okay, then. He wasn't that useful. Oh, one of these guys. I think this is a chaos spawn. Zone of weakness. Iolanthus is immune to that. Are you a chaos button? Plague bearer and poxwalkers. Okay. At your service. Hello. Smack you again. Unfortunately, he is drained. Uh, let's see. What can we do? See, he's going to die to the bleed on his next turn, so we don't need to worry about him. So the answer is... 
These things live six. We could do that, but we can weaken them first with a grenade. And then we can go in and finish them off, and that should get us everything we need. Zap. I think we only got two willpower, unfortunately. Seven, seven willpower. Not max, but it's near maxed out. <laughs> okay, what do we not want from these guys? I think we can just finish him. Four damage at long range. That's actually pretty good. We got a critical, so he went down. Let's finish this guy off. We actually need him to kill some people so he can get some willpower back. We've got two cultists, so we're not really worth... Oh, hold on. That'll do. This bleed ability, I just got it very recently. It's coming in very useful. Okay, he's gonna resurrect some pox walkers. You're gonna zap him or her? Oh, you're gonna swirl flesh, are you? Yes, Commander. Oh, so close. I am the bane of psychos. See, you've got seven left. Oh, it's because he's got an armor, right? So she can can finish off that guy on her own. Perfectly good. They are unfortunately... Oh, here we go. Get rid of that. Poppy goes. He gets a willpower back. Excellent. He can kill... Let's see, then kill this guy. Another willpower back. He was one of the chosen. He's dead. They're over there. This is a zone of weakness. Actually, we might actually need her over here. I am your doom. She can't make it on one action unless... See, that's one. There we go. This should do it. Okay, that puts him in range. Good. And that kills both of them. Okay, so let's see. We are at eight. Unleash the silence. Yeah. Another one falls. We ended up at maximum. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, we are just out of range. We still do four damage though, so zap. Let's see. Nine. He's got eleven. Yeah, you finish him. And now we unfortunately gotta dodge this. Oh, 
Now that she's got all that armor on her, we can advance her with impunity. And I Alanthus, you get over here. Oh, that's Borge, not Iolanthus. And turn. And unfortunately, this stuff is still here. Well, he's kind of stuck there. But everybody knows it is not. Boars. And he's stuck there. And, and turn, and these should go away now. Yep, there they go. With me, my now, we know there's a patrol somewhere around here, but we haven't detected it yet. Ooh. It must be over here, in this area. So we might still bump into it. Taking position. Let's get you over here. She does have a bit of a silly walk cycle, but with that giant helmet on her head, eh, forgivable. Yes, sir. Still no sign on that patrol. Okay, nothing inside yet. All we gotta do is kill the other ritual guy and we complete this mission. There are targets nearby. Ah, there they are. Ooh, thank you for getting closer. Resistance, really? Okay, but let's see. What type of protection? Let's see. Only 24 HP, you say. We've got 9 armor. This does 4 damage. You need to get in range. He's behind cover, which is a pain in the butt. But he's also got Cloud of Flies, which reduces the damage from range attacks by one. Which is really annoying. And because she is not a knight, she we she cannot benefit from this. Yes, Commander. But we can just flat out kill him. Can't see them. Let's see. There's another guy over here. Can't see them. Yes, sir. Hmm. What do we do with you? You live five, so just moving you there. Means we can take you out. Justice. Okay, now Islanders, I think you'll give him some those, so to push them forward. Let's see, I think only he's got a grenade left. Nope, nobody's got grenades left. Looks like we used all of our grenades. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. What do you want? Hmm. 
So what abilities do you have? Oh, it's psychic. Okay then. That's gonna be three. Will that's gonna be three actions. Yes, it is. But it kills him. And he's gonna try to do something against her, and she'll see just no. Another fiend destroyed. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Ooh, random critical. Oh yeah, and the first time they take a hit, they charge it up, and we are going to go into that anyway, so... Might as well let him attack a couple more times. Stream of Corruption, Afflict Weakened, I think that's what we'll go for. Nurgle's Gift. Let's go for that. Yeah, very high damage on this guy. The foe Oof. Hello. Hobbled? Okay, perfect. We've had a lot worse. Okay, let's see. Nine... He has got eight left, so let's see. With me, my brothers. Yes. She can smack him once. And then you can just shoot him. And now we actually do what we came here to do, which is over there. There they are. What next? What is your will? What is your will? Moving out. Look, a couple more steps upward, and that Sounding should reveal right. them. There they are. Ooh! Rally! Lots of AoE targets. Okay, we can shoot that and knock that over and kill most of these guys. Yep, get rid of these two. If, ah, it's a shame she will never get there. She can hit all that, though. And she is going to use her willpower, so she has a chance of getting in that, another action we, we can use to finish off that, all of them. Let's do it. So this is one of the reasons why you might consider raising up a Kalexis assassin. She got the, the action. Excellent. Then come here, do the exact same thing, get two more kills, weaken that guy. Unleash the silence. And there goes all that. See, that's two AP. We can weaken that one. Strike true. Let's see, well, that's two. Let's see, that's one. Oh, he's hobbled. Right. Oh, well. Good thing she can handle pretty much all of them. That's not a safe spot against her, you know? Two sorcerers. Oh no, ooh. 
Uh, what are you called? You blow up when we kill you, but I don't think we need to worry about you. You're a little on the slow side. Bloated Poxwalker. Yes, he explodes unless you blow off his head, in which case he no longer explodes. Mm, look at all that delicious damage. Yeah, and we can just finish off this with a ranged attack with warp charge for maximum damage. As you can see here, 13 damage. Yeah, she can get really powerful. Yeah. But we want to kill this thing first. Wow, we can only hit it for two from here? Yes, Commander. Here, smack that. See if we can kill before we kill this guy. Ooh, nice death. And, oh, I know what we can do. Oh, no, not you. You. Yes, this is what we can do. Let's get you as much experience as possible. Yes, experience. And if I'm mistaken, nobody took any damage. Cool. Warp charge and finish this mission. The source of this corruption has been cleansed. You receive judgment. So yeah, Calix is very, very powerful. You do definitely want to buy her the the weapon that gives her plus plus stun. Okay, so we got a Grimoire, a Storm Bolter. What's this? Not that useful. Plus one armor, and not that useful. We need our requisitions. Ooh, nice boars. What are we getting for you? I don't remember anymore. I think we're getting this because he can get surrounded at, po at times. Four damage, six damage. I think we go with this. So, yeah, the Kalexis Assassin. Alexis. Very useful, but definitely requires a lot of investment, especially if you want to get her decent gear. But once you do, you will definitely be rewarded, rewarded with an Assassin that complements your knights quite handily, either with massive AoE damage, massive single target damage, or massive single target stun. She can also reduce warp charge, she can close portals, she can remove uh, mutations and boons. Very, very, very strong candidate for one of your slots in your army, well, in your force. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.